Hello and welcome to the Photoshop Layers video for helpful tips and tricks. Here are some three helpful tips. The first tip is how to duplicate a layer and send it to another document. To duplicate a layer and send it to another document, all you have to do is have what you want to duplicate and send to the other document. So I have my selection already selected and um, I've gotten rid of what I didn't want in the image so I'm ready to duplicate this layer so now all I have to do now is go to the layers panel command or control click excuse me control click and select duplicate layer notice that a dialog box appears and you can name the layer anything you want but you can choose the destination so instead of this folder or this document I want to send it to the other document and I'm going to select OK. Now when I go to the, um, the other image it's already placed in my photo and then I can go ahead place it wherever I want to and it is a layer as you can see here it is its own separate layer in Photoshop so that is how you duplicate and send a layer to another document the second tip is to delete empty layers by using a script sometimes when you're working with a document and you have so many layers maybe you notice that you have many empty layers that you didn't need so this is how you delete multiple layers using a script in Photoshop to delete empty layers, simply just go to the File menu, go down to Scripts, and select Delete All Empty Layers. But before I do that, notice how I have a few empty layers that I decided, oh, I'm not going to put anything on that layer, so now I'm just going to delete all empty layers. Now notice in the Layers palette that all empty layers that were in the layers palette are now deleted. The third tip is for organizational purposes when you're working with multiple layers and this is a way to organize each layer into sections to your needs. This is for only organizational purposes. So as you notice I have two layers here and they both contain peace signs. Maybe I want to start organizing my uh, Photoshop document here so I know where all my peace signs are and et cetera, et cetera, if I choose to expand or add on to this image. So simply, you just go to the little file icon here at the bottom that says create new group. And let me zoom in here so you can see. And you just simply click on it. Notice now that it says group one. You can double click and rename it. So I'm going to rename it Peace Signs. And now I'm just going to drag, select, and drag under my folder. Now, if, when I collapse my folder, my document is now organized. When working with layers, you can have an image on top of an image. So tip number one, I showed this because it may be helpful for this. So you want to add an object to a photo, but the current object has something in the background which you do not want. So you remove the background, then you duplicate the layer and send it to the other document. So that's why I demonstrated that skill there. Or you can apply a blending mode and or style, or you can make an image mask. Speaking of blending modes, blending modes in Photoshop is an experimental process. So you see the image below. Um, each image there with the guy's face is an experimental process with each of the Photoshop blending modes. I can sit there and demonstrate all the different blending modes, but like I said, it's an experimental process which you're just going to have to experiment and do and explore by yourself. So that's blending modes in a nutshell. Next, I will show you how to do an image mask. You would want to mask the first photograph, which will show through photograph two in the layers. So let me demonstrate. For an image mask, you're going to need two pictures. So I have 
the, the heart silhouette in the sunset picture and I want to add the sunset of the mountains uh, from this photo and show it uh, behind the silhouette of the heart there. To, so, to do that, you need to select the first layer and go down to the layers palette and select add layer mask. I'm going to click it and now notice in the layers palette here that there is a white box. This has to do with your foreground and background color when you're using the paintbrush. So when you're using the paintbrush, <clears throat> make sure you have the black selected and then you just start painting. So now, as you can see, as I paint, let me get a better brush here. As I paint, part of the image on the layer below is showing up on the screen. So you can continue doing this like this to create your cool photo montage here. That's what I'm going to call it. And then you just continue and finish it throughout. Now, if you wanted to just edit the mask, you can option click or control click, or excuse me, option click on Mac and alt click on Windows on the layer mask itself and you can edit the mask itself. So maybe, maybe you didn't want part of the background or you want to fix the shape of the mask and that you maybe, maybe you want that, I don't know. And then you just click back on the photo. There you have it. But I'm going to show you a quicker way. So I'm going to undo this stuff here real quick. There we go and I'm going to use the select tool. So I'm going to select the hands. That's all I want. Let me delete this layer mask real quick. There we go. And now I'm going to select the layer mask in the layers panel and boom, there's the image in the background. I did a quick mask. Selecting made easy. But there you have it. That is an image mask. Well, that's all the time I have for you today. I hope this video was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. See you next time.